welcome to Ikebukuro Station, one of the biggest stations in the city of Tokyo. Hey everybody, I'm here with, 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 Jennifer was here. There she is, hiding behind the wall. Hey Jennifer. Bonjour, long see no time. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, good. Wow, everyone's been asking for you. Tell me everything. Where, what have you been up to? Start. Uh, eating, drinking, mainly. <laughs> I actually believe that. I said, <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds very believable. Of course, you know me. Yes, I do know you very well, and so does everybody else who's watching, most of you. Um, Jennifer also has her own YouTube channel. Check out the link in the description. Um, we will, you can see more of her because you're going to fall in love with Jennifer. We're here, though, in front of Ikebukuro Station. What can you tell us about Ikebukuro Station? Uh, Ikebukuro Station has lots of nice uh, and delicious places where to eat. It's a pretty cheap area, I think. Uh, so, it's cheaper, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And also for young people, you know, maybe this... Do you want to go to that area close to the sunshine? Yeah. There are lots of young people, uh, lots of activities for young people there, apparently. Yeah, sunshine is a key place. That is in this direction. This is where we're going to be going towards the Sunshine Building and take you on a tour so if you do come to Ikebukuro you're going to be pretty oriented know where to go from the station. Which exit is this? East exit. Take the <laughs> east exit because I'm saying this because Ikebukuro Station has a bazillion exits. It's, it's a maze, it's a labyrinth so you want if you give, uh, if you have to meet someone please pick one exit and yes. be there. Don't go to another exit because you it's won't bad. find each other. It's bad. I never, I never say meet you at this exit. I'll say a shop's name or send a link away from the station. Never get in the middle of the station. You, you always get lost. Igibakoto is one of the biggest areas. It's on the Yamanote line. It's one of the biggest uh, city areas like Shinjuku, Shibuya, Ginza, Igibakoto. It's in the top five. And it's also a very young area. There's a bunch of universities around here. That, that's one of the reasons why I think things are a little bit cheaper here because uh, university students just don't have the same kind of money. They just don't have the same. But you, you come here a lot more often than I do, right? Yes, I do because uh, I cross uh, Ikebukuro very often and I have customers close to here too, so I come very often. And I think that depending on the exit, if you go to West Exit, it's a little bit different. Yeah. You have this East Exit. Uh, that's the uh, Metropolitan, the artsy side. They have uh, a lot of classical music and opera going on on that side. Yes, yeah, so I think, you know, anyone who would come here will find something interesting to do. There are lots of good places to eat. Yeah. And uh, also... I'm going to switch sides on yeah, you. I'm actually carrying... Yeah. I'm carrying this bag because we we were just at a location shoot at a sushi restaurant. Jennifer's first time at a conveyor belt sushi restaurant. No, it seemed well, like I mean, no. it seemed first like the time first in time. 10 years, so let's say. First time in ten. <laughs> All right, you can already see here. There's loads of alleys in Ikebukuro. This is another one that you'll find some shops down there. But we're going to go to the main route, which is this way. This would be the main way that people walk around uh, along the main street here. Again, there's a link in the description to show you where Ikebukuro Station is, or it should be. If not, it, there will be one really soon. <laughs> but right away, we see Takase building. There's a, a famous Kisiten, or an old coffee shop that's up there. It serves uh, the classical curry rice and pasta, typical coffee shop food for, for Japan from the 1950s and 60s. It's kind of an older place. I, I've been there a couple of times. Bakery and loads and loads of people. It's always busy here. Where do you usually go when you come here? Uh, I have one or two favorite uh, coffee shops. I think that we're going to cross in front of one of the places where I buy uh, omiyage souvenirs very often. I think it's right there. Okay. Let's check it out. Um, my, some of my Patreons got uh, stuff from their, their Christmas presents was bought, uh, I think it's here. Oh, yes, it is. Before we go there, let's check out this map. I always like to show people maps because some, some troll was on the video and said, why don't you ever show maps? That's exactly how he sounded in my, in my mind anyways. So this here is a map of, of Ikebukuro. You can see that it says 350 meters to Sunshine City. That's our goal. And then you can also get there by subway. JR is right here. Do you see the station? Yeah. Uh, 
。どうぞどうぞ。すみません。Somebody's lost. So we started here in front of the station, and we're going to be walking this way along the main road. I showed you the alley there. Walking along this, the main road, and then when we get to this intersection, we we're gonna be there in like 30 there. seconds. I know we could have totally <laughs> taken them there, but he, that was actually really nice. What you just experienced was that guy. He was showing another West, a Japanese guy showing a Westerner how to get somewhere. Who he spoke no Japanese at all, and and we're standing right there. I'm like, I could help them, but I'm not going to because this is interesting just to be there behind the scenes. So we're gonna get here to the intersection, and then we're gonna walk down the Sunshine 60 Dori. The Sunshine 60th Street, and this will take you all the way towards. There's a lot of shops here and hubs、uh, of other other shops, so、eh, you're, you're gonna see Ikebukuro at its best or its worst. No, it's, <laughs> it, we are su super lucky because because it's not raining. Yeah, that's true. That's true.、Uh, that's the store. Oh,、Check、this is the、out. store. Yeah, I recommend this、uh, place. Okay, Jennifer's recommendation is now in. Hold on a second. Uh, oh, we got、uh, Speak Hot eighty four. Good to see Jennifer, and here's something for you. Very nice. Oh wait, Jennifer's over there. Guy didn't turn the camera around. The, so they sell lots of、uh, you know pepper things. All right, take us there, Jennifer. Have... It's hard to walk cross cross current. I keep getting body checked by people. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. <laughs> okay, we could have a peek here. But do you see the traffic behind us? We just walked across there. I was getting body checked. I know. It's getting really busy. It's getting really busy. All right, take a look at the fans here. It's a. This is where Jennifer buys a lot of her her gifts, her omiyage. And are those the fans right in front of us that you're talking about? Those look pretty. Also, like Thomas, I don't know if he's、uh, on your channel too, but he got. He wanted me to redo exchange,、ah. exchange stuff, and he wanted、uh, fan for men, and I found it here. They have the black ones. Oh, good. That's a nice yukata, and they have one for men in the window. He's he's staring at us with no head. Kind of creepy. A little bit creepy. All right, follow Jennifer. She, you're the local here. Yeah, Oh, they can't hear. Hold on, they can't hear you. The mics in the front. I can. I like to go to the Togo department store. Ah, that's on the other and, side. Uh, there is the Seibu. Well, that's on the other side, right? The Seibu, the food court. That's、uh, on the eighth floor. It's so good. Okay, hold、Everything、on a second. Hold on a second. All right, guys. All these places she's recommending are back there. They're not where we're going, so I'm not sure why she's recommending. Okay, why are you recommending those places? I'm telling the people they're back there. I don't go that much there. Oh, you don't go this way much. We are going to the young people area,、oh. but we can show them this,、uh, you know, the street, and there is the. That's right. We can、what? go up to the. Oh, Tokyo okay.、Mountains. We're gonna be crossing that intersection. If you remember from the map, this this is that intersection. <laughs> Do you want something to drink, Jennifer? I'm I'm dying. I'm parched. Do you want something to drink? You're good. Wow, they got a lot of stuff here. I I could if you ask nicely. Yeah, I'm I'm absolutely ready to buy you some nectar. What is it like? Some Coca Cola with. Would you like some nectar, or Mets? Coca Cola coffee? No. Oh, that's a live stream for like two years ago. All right, I don't see anything I like. I don't see anything I like. We can keep going. All right, get, let's get back into traffic and go down this Sunshine 60th Street, and we're gonna make our way down here. Now, I haven't been in this direction in a long time. Is that it here where there are? Matcha ice cream. Matcha ice cream. That's melon ice cream. I don't know. I don't know. No. It's hard to say. All I know is that. All I know is that that's melon, boom, and Mont Blanc. That's your mountain in, that in France, Jennifer.、Good. That one looks good. The Mont Blanc. <gasps> Chocolat banana. You into that? That looks good. You need to be fed. <laughs> that looks nice. Everything looks nice to her. 
She's, no. she's one of these people uh, who will, anything you put in I front of her, you will eat. Bad you to your liar. Including my finger in the Excuse thumbnail. Excuse me, but the last thing that I had you taste at the sushi store? Yes. At the sushi shop? Why are you on my shoulder? That looks You can get on the side good. here. <laughs> I can tell you. <laughs> All right, let's let's go straight down the Sunshine 60th Street. It smells funny. Now, if you take it, does smell a little funky. Now, if you take a look to the left side, this is uh, also part of Ikebukuro, but you, you want to stay on the main road that we're on. You follow the people. Follow the people. No one else is going that way. Ah, oh, there is our friend Hello Kitty on the right. That's true. We're about to release a main channel episode on Hello Kitty. Elegant. We went to the San Puro San Puro. Rio, San Rio, Puerto Land. Why well, you into the Hello Kitty stuff? And that's a good place. Hello no, no, Kitty? No, 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 no. The Pure Land is a good place. Oh. I love that place. Thanks to you, I would never have gone there on my own, and you took me there. Oh my God, big fan now. People are people are shouting, "Hello, Jennifer! Long time no see, Jennifer!" Hi guys. What have you been doing, Jennifer? Bonjour. I, I, I already highlighted this in another live stream, but I've always been impressed with the way that Tokyo has taken... Do you guys see this? Hold on a second. They've taken the phone boots from the 1990s and 2000s that I used to use all the time, and since everyone has cell phones, they've turned these into Wi-Fi hotspots. And I bet you this is where the first 5G signals are going to come from. Probably like telephone lines, traffic stops, traffic lights, and telephone boots. So you can get free Wi-Fi right here. Do you need Wi-Fi? No, because we have we have data plans that we pay a lot of money for. Thank you very much. For, <laughs> thank you very much for the support. David Kimura, how you doing, David? And then we have here Miss Clark. Thank you. How you doing? So what's going on with Jennifer's Jennifer's Feed Jennifer channel? Any hot Jennifer, news? She's, uh, yeah. Hot news. I am. I'm going to keep on eating, of course. Okay. How could There's I no live doubt. without uh, eating and drinking? That's not new news. But uh, I'm thinking of uh, starting uh, some lessons, language lessons, oh. like French, English, Japanese. That's interesting. L like you know, simple things, but you know, just to start, for example, with okay, uh, Ichigo, strawberry, fraise, in the three languages. Because uh, I know that some people they like to see me when I speak the three languages, so we can do that, you know. Yeah, well, I have a very short attention span. Sorry. <laughs> right there behind <laughs> us is Denny's. <laughs> this this street reminds me. This street has always reminded me after the intersection of Disney World in a way. It's just I've never such been a there. bright. You've never been to Disney World? No. You've been to Tokyo Disneyland? No. What? But I've been to Pure Land. You, you strike me as someone who would go there often, like with an annual pass. Of course not. No? Do you have to take Have you been to there? Euro Disney at least? No. <laughs> You've not been to your own Euro this Disney? why. It was a surprise for me that I fell in love with that Pure Land place. Because it's so good. Hello Kitty, she's a big star now in my heart. And Mickey has no place in your, in your heart not of... Not yet. Your black heart of death for Mickey. You hate all rodents. <laughs> not yet. I was gonna just, I was gonna, I'm bringing the camera around because Spider-Man's right there and it, it, that's kind of funny. <laughs> the dude's, the dude's uh, leaning up against him. All right, let's go. So you're, you're anti-Mickey. I just want to put this clear. Dear Disney, this is the face of, of anti-you. Than going and queuing to do the attractions. Have you not been? Uh, Disney's got that caramel popcorn and gyoza dogs. I can buy that at Candy. <laughs> sure, you could probably find that somewhere else. Uh, but it's not Disney. It's no, not you Disney. know that my hobby is eating. My life is all about eating. So I prefer to spend my time looking for good restaurants than queuing to do the attractions at. Uh, this is round one. It's a game center. You can spend an entire day there doing anything but shopping <laughs> like I don't round it's funny that they put a round one here but maybe you spend more money at round one than shopping uh, you probably would spend a lot more money at round one that's true it is a very bright street there's a Uniqlo here lots of shops there's a, a Matsumoto Kyoshi a lot of people will buy their pharmaceuticals and, and little things to take back Japanese pharmaceuticals are, are a lot um, easier on the body, so it's very popular, especially with other Asian countries, like eye drops. Yeah, eye drops and things like this. 
it's just it's just easier on the body. I, I don't know why, but I, I saw on the train yesterday um, some tourists from Korea, and in their bag on the train, they just had tons and tons of eye drops and pharmaceutical stuff from Japan. First of all, I'm like, you're gonna get stopped at the border, uh, stop at the airport or something because there's just so many of them. But you know, what do I know? I I don't travel to Korea too often. But it is it is very bright, lots of lights. Reminds me, it's it's sort of a different. I don't know if you compare this to Harajuku and Shibuya. How does this compare, Jennifer? Can you compare? Yeah, it's just uh, different. This area in Ikebukuro, it's uh, compared to the Kabukicho in Shinjuku. Ah, uh, that's a better comparison. It's like Kabukicho, but it seems to be Kabukicho's got a lot of alleys and back roads, and this right. is it's just so big. Uh, lots of clubs, right? This is condensed all in one. Sunshine 60 Street, I think. You could find just about anything on the Sunshine 60 Street, at, at least if it's brand oriented. It's everywhere. Look and at at this. Night, it's like everything at is. At night, here. it's pretty cool, you know, with all, yeah. the, as you said, you know, these lightings. At night, Pachinko. it's even better. Yeah, at night, this place comes alive. It, it totally changes around this time. We're about at, at twilight. It's, it's getting closer to night, so the lights are on, but we still have some sunshine. There's a Tokyo Hands. I saw that in Omiya the other day. That's also a fun shop to go into. They got just about everything. But I, I think we're not that far away from t the Sunshine 60 Sunshine building. Is, uh, one of those two buildings. Oh, it's right I, up there. You just have yeah. to look up. I don't remember if it's that's the white it. one or that one. No, no, this, that's got it. Well, maybe it's not. This used to be the tallest building in Tokyo, right? Was it? I th I'm pretty sure it had one of the best views and one of the tallest buildings from Tokyo, the Sunshine 60 building. Because, you know, Japan is an earthquake prone country right right yes it, it is so there there aren't there weren't traditionally many tall buildings because they would just collapse but yeah. with the in, invention of new technology like the um, rubberized plates with with uh, coils in them that can yeah. move with the earthquakes the buildings can now get higher and although you know you could build that's a brand new one right there the Q Plaza you guys can check it out. It's on Google Maps, yeah, but I it's it, it so hasn't opened yet. So, it? Yeah, sh shall we shall we hang our, hang uh, a left here? Maybe yeah. Let's go. Right, yeah, let's, because anyways, it's the end of the street here. Yeah, this is the end of the street. Let's hang a left and just take a look at this new building. Then you have some parks, etc., etc., over there. Oh, parks I love Taiyaki. I love Taiyaki. Oh, Taiyaki, come to me. You guys rock. Thanks for streaming. Fantasy Exodus. Thank you. Mr. Potter's in the house as well, ready to enjoy the stream. Jennifer Julian, your full name. You always make me hungry. <laughs> Mr. Potter misses you. Well, have you been? So, see, you have to feed me more often. Well, we have to find the time to get together. Do you want it's a taiyaki? Just, Could you eat dessert? We, we, we had, no. hold on, let me turn this camera around. We just no. ate a massive amount of sushi. Taiyaki. We ate, we ate more sushi, so much sushi. Yeah, um, but you have to go back anyways. Yeah. So, yeah. That's, that's true. <laughs> What's that there? I think I'm going to have Churos. to go on a drink hunt on my own after this live stream, guys. <laughs> in, in, the, in this main, us, they know me, so. <laughs> in this main channel episode, Jennifer went and, and she got a beer. I knew I knew you were gonna go for the beer. I have the uh, no. I feel like having some pain right now because I had the beer already. Um, we, I have an, a behind the scenes video to show you guys. A behind the scenes, oh. Yeah. So this is it. You can see it's not open. There's a, 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 a construction samurai worker right in the front of the building with a lightsaber. Do you know when it's going to open? I don't know, but he's got the it's lightsaber. Do you see ready, that? Right? That's the one they had in the 1980s that kids kids used to have. And when you waved it, it made a woo woo sound. So just like a real lightsaber. But unlike those, th these actually will burn you I think awesome I don't know store. I'm making that up kids but this is a brand new building and it is it is looks like it's gonna be an amazing amount of fun because when they don't have windows like that that means it's like virtual reality crap in there <laughs> I'm, I'm just guessing so it could be a lot of fun how you doing oh yeah that would be me we're, we're actually live streaming <laughs> are you okay hey, hey. where are you from uh, from Itabashi. Okay. But I was born and raised in the Philippines and I kinda I've been here in Japan for like fifteen years and I I don't really go around. I just go to Shizuoka sometimes for the on site though. 
Oh, so it's it's unique to be here. I mean, you actually watch your videos, and I see. You, I think you know more Japan. You know more of Japan than me. I've been here for ten years now. Okay. And you know, and I didn't really expect you were gonna be here. Just kind of like really low. <laughs> I I get we we get around. I know a lot less than you guys think. <laughs> I appreciate that. So you you live in Itabashi. It, it, Itabashi. Itabashi. Yeah, I just, I just bought a ticket because I'm gonna, I, I'm just gonna watch some. Oh, very yeah, cool. After I'm gonna look around this place. I mean, it, I've been here. I've been coming here in Ikebukuro since I was in high school. Okay. Yeah. So. So, where would be the place people should go if they come to Ikebukuro? Is it on the other side? It's definitely here, it right? It depends on what you want. I mean, ah, Ikebukuro what do you right want? Now is more of a, a otaku place, and and it's getting uh, a lot of otakus are like coming here because in Akihabara there's a lot of people like for, from around the. All over the globe, yeah. Going to, to Akihabara, so a lot of otakus right now are coming here. Like, I noticed that yeah. there, there's a super potato, a super potato, which is the games, the shop with all the retro games, has a shop here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they do. What super potato? Do you know? What she heard. It? She heard food. It doesn't. There's no potato <laughs> I was there. The what? Super she thought potato? there was potato there. There's no potato there. Right? Yeah, yeah, potato. No, no. no uh, potato. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but there's also a lot of maid cafes are, are popping maid up here. Cafes and like the anime. Company called Animate. Yes, yes, yeah, that's yeah, here yeah. as well. Yeah, it's over there. So uh, this is the yeah. otaku after Nakam, na, bro, na, Nakano Broadway. This would be like number three, maybe. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, so Ikebukuro is kind of like the otaku, like you know, the otaku scene here is kind of like getting bigger. I think. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I don't really have otaku friends, but you know, seeing like coming here for like a lot of years now, I mean, it kind of sends like there's a lot of otakus and. I can even see like a lot of like foreigners, like you know, that like anime. I can see that it's changed a lot since every time I come here, it changes a lot. It's yeah. it's more modern. I can see they've torn down a lot of the old buildings, and now I guess they're modernizing for the 2020 Olympics, maybe. I think so too. Yeah, it's a young it's a young place. You know, a lot of college students here. What's your name? Uh, my name is Nico. Buddy. Nico, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah it's good to bump into you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I still I still I'm you know I'm gonna watch the videos. So. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Anyways, I'm just gonna buy some stuff. Right okay. All right. Check you out later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> very cool. Nice. So this this building is not quite open yet, but it looks like there's already a bunch of games because the first shop that you see up there is Capcom. That's a game center. So I'm surprised. I'm surprised. You never heard of, of Super Potato? No. What is that? It's a game. If it's not food, how could I have heard about it? What you're saying is like the entire gaming community community is like look, looking at their screens right now, ready to kick the face in of the woman who says, hey, "I thought that super potato had potatoes. Is it fried potatoes? Is it the ones that come in a meal set? You get an L size, you get L size potatoes as well. Large, I want the large ones. No, there's no. It's not super potato. Even mashed it's, potatoes, I love. Them. I know, I know. You like mashed potatoes? She'll take any potato. Okay, um, super potato. It's a game center. They put out. the gachapon already on the second floor, all gachapon. brand new. Yeah. All right. There's nothing say, here. Say gachapon. Gachapon. <laughs> that, that, there's nothing proper about <laughs> that. Gachapon. <laughs> I think I need to drink. I'm I don't know. starting. I, I don't know. Okay, come this way. I don't know what she <laughs> has been drinking. <laughs> all she had one beer. I didn't drink anything. I had green tea. You had the beer. <laughs> That was two hours ago? That must have been some strong beer. It's like slow activating brew. You do. <laughs> You're in a different do world. Do you know how many. The alcohol degree in beer is five or six. That's nothing. Yeah, five or six, but it's it was like. It, it, that was two hours it activates ago. two hours after you have your first sip, like, I think. You know, when you're addicted, you need to refill. If not, you, I get a super hype. You know? Have you have have you been deta There's a maid's cafe right there, I think. So oh no no, it's it's a shop. All I know is that a lot of these shops have come in. These really cute. Um, what do you call them? Moosh. Moosh. Well, I know that it's called it's called moosh, but look at that ramen. You know moosh? Oh, look at that half boiled egg. Man, I just want to take that congealed egg and rub it all over my face. Ah. <laughs> I only said I was just I said that to see if you're paying attention. I was wondering. I just want to know you're paying attention. Thinking about uh, something else about uh, do I want to drink or eat first? I'm feeling, uh, I'm starting to be hungry. You don't want a taiyaki? No. 
Are you sure? I don't want to. Do you want something to drink from the vending no, machine? It's okay. Coca Cola Energy? Cool. You want a Coca Cola you... Energy? Do you no, need extra see. energy? No. I don't think so. My treat doesn't happen I often. Have, uh, I have What's energy that? to sell. Oh, you have energy to sell. We say, j'ai de l'énergie à revendre. It's just who's buying. <laughs> Who wants you? It's a, you have a special energy, right? This isn't your typical energy. When it comes to eating good food and drinking champagne, I'll always have a special energy for it. Yeah. Let's take a look here. Now, we're, 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 this is where you would enter these, the um, Sunshine 60 building, right? Yes. You can enter into the Sunshine 60. We finally, okay, 20 minutes into the live stream, we finally get there. You can enter in through here and you'll, it'll take you up to the Sunshine um, 60 building. And we call this Sunshine City, which is a shopping mall, basically, that, at the base of it. And uh, I think I've only been up there once for an NHK Tokyo Eye shoot. Kevin Cooney and I, <laughs> Tokyo Cooney, one of the godfathers of, of YouTube and I, had, had did an episode for Tokyo Eye back in 2009. And we went up to the top of the Sunshine 60 building to show Ikebakura's view. Check out this post box for the Japan Post. It's pink. That's pretty cute. That's the cutest post office box I've ever seen. Buy Jane and Orion beer. <laughs> yeah. I think you need another beer, don't She's you? French. She's French? She's wearing a beret. Where's you? Saint beret. You guys are wearing the same color. Uh, we are. Yes, we are. She has, this is the sushi cutter today. If you had her hat and her skirt, it totally would be just all blue. <laughs> I'm not buying what you're selling, babe. You know, because we were talking about Pure Land. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Hello Kitty now. All right. Now, we walked all of this for the last 20, 25 minutes above ground. You can do all of this underground. You see, between us, there's an entrance. That's uh, You can go completely underground to Igebukuro Station, which is very useful because if it's raining, if it's raining, you wanna you wanna sneak in that way, I which is why I, I believe it exists. Yeah. I did Even a live in the rain, stream you can. About that earlier. Oh, you did? Yeah, I did a live stream about that underground life in Tokyo. I did that at around uh, 1 p.m. So you will see all the underground area of yeah. uh, Ikebukuro Station. Check it out. <laughs> check check it out. All right, we, we're about half a kilometer away from Ikebukuro Station. Now I want to show you a, a little shortcut. Hey, Mr. Potter! I remember when Jennifer bought a bottle of wine. To the stream. <laughs> I remember in my bag. I remember that. Yeah. What's so heavy in there? I've got wine. <laughs> All right. Looking at this map, you can see we've walked half a kilometer here. All right. Secret is if you if you want to avoid the crowds, um, Higashi Ikebukuro Station is right here. All right. It's like in between here. So the shopping area is this way. I often will take Higashi the Yurakucho line at Higashi Ikebukuro and just walk and it takes me half the time because there's no people who get off at Higashi yeah, Ikebukuro. What do you think about that? I think that it gets empty when you cross that line. There's nothing there. Um, no, oh, nothing, on, the other, on the other on the other side of this there, highway yeah, is hotels. that where the, the brothels start and all the dirty things happen on the other no, side? there's nothing. It's just mansions, hotels and parks. Okay, parks where dubious things happen after midnight? I don't go there after midnight. I'm a good girl. You're a good girl? You, you never cross to the other side of the tracks? I don't go on the other side of the tracks because I don't live in this area. I don't live in this area. Jennifer getting interviewed in Japanese a show another month ago. So uh, people wa are watching your Japanese shows. Ah, arigatou gozaimasu. Yeah, you're on TV a lot here. Uh, I'll be on the, in the same program on Saturday. It's a short to meet, I think. Oh, uh, I you know I have done a few of those. We did one one together as well. I, I did I don't like no, them that though. That one wasn't good. That and, one was not uh, good. No, this one I'm doing is good because uh, they actually make me comment and they ask me to come because they know I have well, because of my expertise on food and. Uh, oh, they just showed Toy Story. Sorry, I just we just missed that. They showed to Toy Story in Japanese. It was hilarious. Sorry. Yeah, I, I, I don't I just, what I don't like about those shows is that they put your a flag of your country on your chest and then I always think of it as like people are looking at me like I'm in the zoo. I represent all American people for Japanese. So anything I say will be rec will be based on the country on my on my chest. I, I never really liked those shows. I want them to, to, to see me not as a being American, but yeah. as being this is my point of view. Yeah, but the thing is I don't you know, know. I was thinking like you before, but when you think of it 
they do this even with the Japanese people. They put their age yeah. or whatever. We, they, oh, they put their age put on everything. Do they put your age on no. your card? They need to put information about the people who are speaking. Ah, uh, yeah. This is, and I mean, we are foreigners, so of course they put, you know. I, I do mostly, country. I do mostly news programs, um, not variety shows. So in, the, in those kinds of situations, I don't have. I, I'm just looking and saying, well, she's not wearing any clothes. I don't. <laughs> over there. I, was, I don't know. Sorry. My intention sometimes wanders. It's like, what the heck is that? There you go. That made me stop. Yeah, but I, I don't know. I do more of the news, news programs on Japanese TV I, and the variety shows. I just don't. I never got into it. But you're, you're a pro with them. I enjoy doing it. It's really fun. And also all the talk I get behind the scenes is really interesting. So this is why I'm doing it. So when you speak in Japanese, do you have a French accent? Ah, I don't know. What do you think? You do. <laughs> Just like I have an American American accent. And I'll tell you what, everybody. Don't ever change who you are. When you come to Japan, don't try to become Japanese, I think. Then you lose your value to Japan. It's, it's more interesting if you stay who you are, take your accent and your pronunciation with you. Just look at Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? Arnold. So he, he's 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 so awesome because he doesn't speak perfect was that? fluent Arnold Schwarzenegger. Ah, okay. Because he doesn't he, speak his perfect English. English. Perfect to me, huh? his, <laughs> because I'm French, so. All right, Arnold. Arnold. Arnold is very very happy to hear that. You don't even notice that he speaks with an Austrian accent, like a German. No. No, not really. Wow. Well, what do you think of my American accent? Is it easy to understand? Yeah, it's easy. It's not, that's, that's, you know, it's not the super double. Super double water, what? Powder. Oh, God, the music is so loud here. Hold on. Copyright, 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 copyright. Okay. I don't know. So they, they slapped me on a copyright problem a couple of, on a couple of weeks ago in a Shinjuku um, Yodobashi camera stream. I got copyright ah. hit for because, 30 seconds. Because of their music. Right? Yeah. All right, guys, take a look up there. Yeah, background music. Do you see right there? We have made cafes in Ikebukuro, and this is like a new phenomenon. It's not like something that you would see outside of Akihabara about five years ago, but it's things that you would see here. And over there, there are some love hotels. Ikebukuro has some of the most, it's the second biggest love hotel area, maybe the third after after Shinjuku's uh, Kabukicho and Shibuya, right? Ikebukuro's got a ton of love hotels. You've been, you haven't, say nothing. Yes. Say nothing. Okay. All right, I've never been to. You're kidding me. No, there's a lot of love hotels here. I've been many times. Oh, you have? <laughs> yeah. Okay. The best one was in Shinjuku. <laughs> what do you think about that? Have you been, did, did you go together? No comment? She's got nothing to say. <laughs> can get a big room at a cheaper price than a hotel, a normal hotel. Okay. It's not all about... Yeah, all right, let me ask you this. Who, who pays? This, what are you talking? We are talking about... Love Hotel. I even did, I did with Tokyo Eye, we did a report about Love Hotel. Yeah, me and Norma did a... a it took us nine days to make that Tokyo and, Eye report uh, on Love Hotels for NHK. The best we went to seven different love hotels. It's pretty crazy. The best uh, love hotel I went to was in Nala, and it was oh my god, the room! It was like a suite, and it was so cheap, like something like Hassan yen, eight thousand yen. And love hotels are really good places because you don't need to book in advance, and if you're lucky enough to go in, <laughs> to an area that is not so popular, you will get. Room. I'm almost convinced. <laughs> I should sell my apartment, and Kanai and I should move into a love hotel. But some some of them are gross. <laughs> Do not take a fluorescent black light and start scanning the sheets at love hotels. I prefer that just love you've been warned, <laughs> Jennifer. I prefer love hotels with a window, <laughs> so that you can so you can the keep air. the so you can keep the curtains open and flaunt your stuff to the crowd that walks by some of the most populated areas of the city no, of Tokyo. So that you get clean air. <laughs> I don't know how this discussion. Okay. Anyways, if you if you are coming with a partner, 
then you can definitely hit up a love hotel for a night. If you usually you can check in at 10 p.m. Uh, without a it reservation, you pick. Uh, the, all right, tell but, tell everybody. At the, tell, at, the hour, okay. at the late hour, it gets cheaper. The Love Hotel, like you will get a room for less than sometimes for four thousand, six thousand, and you can get a room with a double bed and bathroom, etc., etc. So you know, just pick, you know, right. one that looks. As long as you don't, enough. as long as you don't talk about the etc., etc. I don't know if if our family faring audience is into. Tom, Tom Gomez writes in, oh my, Jennifer. Do you know that now they Tom, also... you and I both, brother, we're no, thinking the same thing. Like, she had only one beer. My channel How, is you had a one beer. channel. I can't talk about those topics. <laughs> okay, I will. I will make a nice... I made a comment ten this. minutes ago about rubbing egg on my face. <laughs> is that, would that work with your gourmet channel? Hey, there's your French, there's your French competitor. Isn't that her? Oh, she, she's, um, three years ago, she wasn't really known on Japanese TV, now she's everywhere. What's her name, Claire? Clara. Clara. Yeah, she's really nice. I got a chance to meet her once a long time ago. She's, she was break, working hard to break in into Japan, and now she's on so many TV shows. It's crazy. Ah, she speaks very good Japanese. She's a correspondent for TBS. She did a couple of shows with... Yeah, she did a lot of stuff. This is the Seibu entrance, right? To Ikebukuro Station, this way? Yeah, I gotta go home. Okay, I'm going to leave you here because I don't know what I want to do. You don't know what you want to do? I don't know if I want to live stream again and get a drink or just go back home. I'm not sure. She's going to a love hotel by herself. <laughs> Jennifer, you can't do that by yourself. Okay. You could hear me, right? I she could hear me. I myself from going to the hotel on my <laughs> own bed. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm just going to leave you and I'm going to go <laughs> in someplace else <laughs> by myself and live stream, but by myself. No, but I don't know, I, I don't know if I want to I'm have making a coffee, fun of if her. I want to do oh. a, a drink hunt or whatever. And anyway, oh. so I'm just going to get your train, right? Yeah, I got to get back and, and put up an episode tonight on um, the street food market in Kochi. Have you been to Kochi? A long Kochi time Prefecture. Ago, like 20 years ago. On Sunday, there's a street food, there's a, a market that happens every Sunday in Kochi. It's one of the best street food markets and it's famous for having vegan and vegetarian ah, food. Oh, that's good. Well, uh, yeah, if you don't like meat, but I like meat and I like actually starting to like the vegan food. It's actually pretty good. Yes, it is. Yeah. It is. You don't have to, I, and I found out you don't have to be vegan to eat the vegan food. I know. It's, it's just it's the better, vegan foods. Yeah. The vegan, vegan people can't eat the, the meat foods. But the meat people can go across, they can surf every food, every food level, right? If you, if you can eat meat, then you can surf the vegetable world. I can surf every world, the cuisine world. I'm, no, there's no holds barred. You know I've made right? uh, bolognese, made too close. I've been, I made bolognese before replacing the meat with uh, tofu, a tofu base. Seriously, my friends were like, you changed the recipe, it's super good. They didn't notice there was no meat did, in there. Did so you do you know. an episode on this, on the Jennifer Julian Eat Feed no, Jennifer channel? No, I should, I know. You should. I know. I have, there are so many things I, I'd love to do, but I lack time. Because I have, I work, <laughs> so you know. She works, she's a working woman. I'm a YouTuber. She's a, uh, you're still mostly not a YouTuber, you're a food, food critic. I'm in the food and wine business. Food and wine business. Ah, I have a present for you. Oh, Something really? About that, yeah. Check out that, that tractor trailer. They got the attention of these ladies, like, whoosh. I don't know what that's supposed to be. You got a, pr a present? Yeah. Because I'm a food producer, as you know, and I have... I have at, at the, the internet's breaking down and, and yelling, wine! Shorty Jesus. goes, wine! <laughs> uh, what do you think it is? I have my brand. My Shorty, own. I totally. I'm not, I can't drink it. You know right? that I have my own brand in uh, Caldi. Oh stores. yeah. Do you guys? Do you guys know Caldi? Caldi is these chains of stores all around Tokyo. Yeah, they have uh, oh. 450 stores. This is the cannelli or matcha, matcha cannelli. Oh, it's so still moist. So you can have this with uh, cannelli. It's uh, they sell this. Uh, nani? Leito da yo. Oh. But it's. It's, uh, oh, it's still cold. It's still cold. Yeah. Okay. okay. I, I need it. And no, it's for you. Oh, all of them? Yeah, of course. You, I, should I give them to Kanai? Yeah, of course. Can I just eat them myself on the train? Of course not. Of course you not. They are four, so. Okay. Just so yes. Yeah, 
Did you put a, a chip, an IP, IC chip in here so you know if I've eaten them? So, oh, can I definitely to make, watching to make, this? To make sure you will buy me some champagne next time. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Jennifer, it was great to see Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. Merci beaucoup. Mwah. Bisous. It's the French thing. See you guys. A bientôt. A bientôt. Bisous. Bisous. Oh, oh Bye. Bisous. Take care. Bisous. It was nice. Bye bye. Bye bye. Are you you so you really you really going? I need to think. What okay, I want okay. To do. I don't know what I want to do right now. But you'll figure it out. I don't know if I want a coffee, a drink, or eat. I need to sit down and think. But I want to do something. Okay. On my own. <laughs> All right, you do that. Well, well, don't be a stranger. Of course not. Bye guys. Bye bye. She's on my shoulder. We're stalking her. <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun. I'm glad that we could share a little bit of time with Jennifer. And um, we 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 just spent like three hours filming a um, only to Ben main channel episode on 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 uh, sushi go round at the shop. We got permission to go in there and film, and I brought I'm making a story about it. So that should be a lot of fun. Probably take a couple of couple of weeks to edit that this is one of the first ones where I have an external edit uh, an external person edit helping me to edit it so we're gonna have a lot more um, video content on the main channel so I'm making my way into Ikebukuro, Ikebukuro station I'm I'm gonna be getting on to the Yura, Yurakucho line so let's just take a little bit more time and walk in towards the Yurakucho line and um, we can see how this all works because we've taken you to the Sunshine City and then check out the smoking area. It is so crowded, filled with smokers, but they have these walls here to keep the smoke in. Very smart idea. Alright. So let's get inside of Ikebukuro Station, try to find how to get onto the metro. And this will give you a little bit more orientation into the Ikebukuro station. So when you do come here, you'll be able to navigate a little bit further than just to the Sunshine 60 Street. Whoosh. All right, if you do meet a friend here and you say, I want to meet you in front of Ikebukuro station, make sure you tell them this information. Do you see in front of me, there is a statue. So you tell them you're meeting in front of the hand. The hand of, hand of, this strange hand is very famous. It's a weird statue, but you can say, I'll meet you in front of the hand. All right, I don't know if that helps you. <laughs> it doesn't help me. Yeah, or the Becker's coffee. I always say, I'll meet you in front of the, this is the last place that I saw Kevin Cooney actually. Right there, Becker's Cafe. Little interesting side notes. Before he went back to the United States. All right, let's go down and deep. We're going in towards uh, the Maranucci line. So this is a little bit extra. Definitely hit that like button if you're having fun and you like taking a look at these Japanese stations. Your like is like gasoline to these live streams and we're we're running out of gas here, so. We should be at like 400 likes, come on. All right, so let's go. Wow, they got some, um, they got some takoyaki going on here behind these very um, greasy windows. Looks good, Gintakyo, one of the chains. That was, that was creep, that was so creepy. I'm like, what is that scratching on my shoulder? I took a Dude, shortcut. you took a shortcut? I know, it came up for a better. That's a long cut. Oh my word. It worked. She's a stalker. You Van, I didn't say that, Van Josh did. You thought I was at the Love Hotel? <laughs> uh, well, it's a little bit creepy when you go, to, go by yourself to a Love Hotel. Yeah, it's... That was, yeah. Okay. You know what I that was a good one. <laughs> I realized I didn't Thanks, want Billy. I 
didn't want to go uh, to have anything, I just want to go back home. <laughs> and I said, hey, if I take the shortcut, I would probably meet him. <laughs> yeah, you took the shortcut. You went underground, right? Yeah. Yeah, we crossed the street the old-fashioned way. Look at this. One plus one is two. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes, she proved it. All right, so this is where JR's North Gate is. And if you look up here, underground, usually you don't get, you can, you don't get lost if you know at least Metropolitan and West Exit. And then the North Gate is right here for JR. But we're going towards the subways, and they're all kind of in the same area. Yurakuchi Line, Marunuchi Line, and, and Fukutoshi Line, which will take you to Shibuya, Fukutoshi Line. Wh which line are you taking? I'm going to Yurakucho? the Tobu first. A Tobu? Yeah, because I want to buy some uh, organic vegetables ah. and fruits. So I'm going to the Metropolitan. Oh, yeah. This area. is the, um, the... Oh, see you later. Bye-bye number two. Bye-bye number two. Ciao. Oh, she wasn't stalking. She was really going to leave us. Okay. But I stopped here because you know these these are these sandwiches that I introduced in the Japan Sandwich Show. They've got like a thousand varieties of sandwich packs. White bread and in between the white bread is some filling and then they kind of like clamp them together. And it's kind of fun. My mom likes the egg salad sandwiches. Snack pack, right Nosh? Snack packs. That was funny. I, I was like, what's, what's that on my shoulder? I turn around and it's Jennifer. What? I, I knew she wasn't going to go to a love hotel by herself. She was just cheesing us. Um, that looks like karage. That looks really good. I love the fact when you go to these Japanese stations, inside of the stations in Japan, you'll find a bunch of, of food that you can just buy and take home with you. And at, at, at the end of the day, like right now, that, that could be a lot of people's dinner. So people will buy a sack of food at the station for dinner. It's a good, it's a good idea. Oh, there's an Anderson Bakery in here. You can smell it, you know, stations smell great. Even in the summer when everyone's got B.O., it still smells pretty good. It's a good mix of B.O. and bread, ramen. All right, that's a Tobu line. So this is where Tobu, to, Toji line, Tojo line is. But, um, all right, I wanna go this way. Ikebukuro, this is from Simon. Ikebukuro is, is my favorite area in Tokyo. I lived around Ikebukuro West exit when I visited Tokyo last year. Yeah, Ikebukuro is, I, I worked on the other side of the station for about four, three years working for an English school as a part-time job before my company started to take off a little bit. And uh, yeah, Ikebukuro is, it's got a lot of, it's got a nice vibe to it. And what I like about it is if you compare Ikebukuro to Shinjuku, Ikebukuro has, seems to have like everything, but it's more compact. So I like that aspect of it. David Kimura, thank you for chipping in. I'm gonna get something for Kanai when I get home. She shouldn't have to cook tonight. Mr. Minute is, that's in the United States too, right? Where you make keys and stuff. I think Mr. Minute is everywhere. They fix shoes and, and make keys. <laughs> Eddie writes it. The next person that taps you on the shoulder is gonna get throat punched. <laughs> I don't think I don't think I'll take it that far. They'll definitely get a mean look. <laughs> wow, Mr. Minutes in New Zealand as well. I think it's like one of these global chains that just sneaks up sneaks up on you like Jennifer. They're everywhere, but you don't realize it. All right, we're heading towards the um, Yurakucho line. We'll go straight. Once again, oh, look at that pizza. Definitely a young area. The students rule here. Pizza, cake, sweets. Nice. That's why people like Ikebukuro. It's also probably, besides Jiogaoka, it's like the sweets paradise of Tokyo. All right, we're almost there.
Our goal is Yudakucho Line. Ah, we're going across traffic. That was rough. Do you see, do you see where I walked by? Everyone was exiting and going into the other line. So sometimes it can be a little bit challenging because you have to uh, fight traffic. And whenever you have to cross a stream of people, you just have to put your head down and just push through it. It's the only way to get through. Definitely hit that like button. I can't believe we're short. Come on, we're short of 300. That's so weak. Totally should be at like 400 or something. Well, you don't like Ikebukuro? Forget, don't push the like button for me. Push the like button for Ikebukuro. Give it the respect it deserves. It, they are low, low ceilings. They've been working on this for a while. Um, the station has, there's always been like little construction bits and pieces. But I think, I think after the Olympics, they'll probably start renovating Ikebukuro Station. It's so, it's so crowded in traffic that it's hard to do any renovations here without disrupting too much. All right. Here we are. This is where, this is also um, the east exit right here. It's pretty busy. I'll let this soak in for a minute. They have some kind of fair going on where they're selling things. Summer is here. Once again, yukatas are. Everyone's buying their summer yukata now. If you get in early, you can you can have them tailor made, but it's about at the end of that season. So if you start to tailor make it, it won't be ready in time for all the fireworks displays. You have to start doing it in June. I tried one year to get uh, yukata cotton kimono tailor made, and uh, they wouldn't do it. They wouldn't be finished until September, and I'd asked two weeks before. Okay, there we go. Yurakucho line is right here. Boom. For those of you who are curious about where Ikebukuro is, it's up here. It's up on one of the corners. This is the Yamanote line, which goes around the entire city of Tokyo. So you can see with the um, Imperial Palace in the center, Ikebukuro is up here. It's on the uh, uh, northwest side. And Tokyo Station's right here. So it's a little bit further. Shinjuku's right here. Shibuya's right here. Ginza's right here, right? And Asakusa's right here. And those make up like the big five zones that go around the Yamanote line. It's pretty interesting. So there you go. Ikebukuro Station in a nutshell. From the station to the Sunshine 60 building, back to the station, back to Jennifer's Solo Love Hotel, and now to the Yurakusho line. Thanks everybody for watching. If you have any questions, as always, leave your questions in the comments below. I really appreciate it. Click that like button for watching. Ugh, I'm getting body checked because I got a massive camera bag. Um, yeah, so I'll see you in the next live stream. There's a main channel episode being released tonight on the Only Japan channel. It's uh, Kochi's Street Food Market. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'll see you next time. Last 20 seconds, watching people go into the Yurakucho Live because I don't have anything better to, better to show you. Have a good day, good night, everybody.